Hi there. So I want to get on here really quick and show you how to get a very simple eye look. When you purchase four tins, you get the option of ordering the square compact or a quad compact. So if you're ordering four eyeshadows, you can get them and they stick it right in here like this. Um, or you get the quad and you get bigger, you have room. Um, so I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm using the eyeshadow everything brush. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush. Um, no matter what makeup you use, you're gonna love this brush. It's perfect for eyeshadows. So right now, all I have on my eyes are um, is my contour that I used on my face. And I just contoured, um, outlined my eye. So now I'm gonna go in. Um, I'm using four colors today. Sabrina, Leo, Crush, and Philly. Um, I'm gonna go in to Sabrina and I'm gonna take Sabrina up and over and kind of like set that contour that I put there. It's a cream and I want to be able to go in without any worries that um, my makeup will stick and look weird, okay? Because if you're, you put a dark color directly onto a cream, it's just gonna stay. It's not gonna blend very well. So I like to put a really light layer to kind of, you can use powder for that as well. Um, to kind of go over, but it's got this nice sheen to it. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into this color here that's called Leo. It's an orange color and it looks really scary, but it's so pretty on. It's just a warm orange. Um, it just adds so much warmth. Look, look how immediately that just added character and life. So this is what I would call a transition shade. So you go through and pick any of our medium shades that we could use as a transition shade. Bubba is a favorite of mine. Lullaby is really beautiful. Um, Leo's for a little bit more of a pop of color, but it's still a soft um, neutral color that you can use as a base for a whole lot of eyeshadow looks. So it's really versatile and it looks really beautiful on everybody. All right. So that's Leo. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Leo and take it underneath my eye as well. Just warm it up under there. I just got that contour under there, so it's kind of cool. So we're gonna warm that all up. All right, so this is perfect for spring. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go into my second, my third color here. This is Philly. So I'm gonna take the small end of this brush and I'm gonna take it in an outer V. So um, your darkest color is what, where you would do, where you would put this. This, So any eyeshadow look you go for, take your darkest color and make an outer V. I have a bit of a downturned eye, so I have to make sure I keep this lifted. Um, and I have a bit of a hooded eye, so I have to make sure that the V comes up on here and not in my crease so that you can still see it. And then I flip my brush over and blend it out so easy and simple to do. You can do this with any colors. I'm just in a light, medium, dark, like in ranges of colors. Um, and then a pop of color of something that you want to use, which I'll do last and I'll show you that color. All right, so just like that, so easy. Blend it out. And you can see how immediately that's like lifting my eye. I'm gonna take a little bit of that filly and drag it just on this outer third. And that just kind of ties it in and adds a little bit of dimension. And then we'll like softly diffuse that out. So the great thing about this brush is it's got this really fluffy end. And the more you sit here and blend it, the more it's gonna just keep diffusing and diffusing and diffusing. So you just blend it out as much as you can that you like. And then you can see it's a little darker on this side than this side. So I'm just gonna even it out a little bit a little bit more color to this side. And you just kind of keep doing that until the color is the intensity that you want and it's placed where you want. So just like that, you can see I'm missing a little bit right there. So I'm gonna go in right on that spot and make sure that that's filled in and diffused out, just like that. So this side has a harder time keeping, applying the eyeshadow. This side always tends to look really nice immediately. Just the way my eyes go, everyone's faces are like that. 
Um, you just might have to give a little more attention to one side. All right, so easy, so pretty. Now I'm gonna finish off with this color here called Crush. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's like a peachy color. I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm just gonna place it right across my lid. And you can see how it has that shimmer and it just adds like this extra like pop and beauty to my lid. Just like that, so pretty. And then you can go back in again with that Sabrina and make get your inner corners, make sure it's like good and, and bright. You can clean up this area with that Sabrina again, just to make sure that it's defined there. And then you are done. You can add, you can go in and add eyeliner. You could even line with the Philly as well. I'll show you that. So you could even line with that filly. So I can go in with a smaller brush. This is the multitasker. It's got a really small end here. You can go into the filly and you can just align your lid with an eyeshadow. You can get it wet with water or you can use like a setting spray to get it wet if you want it to be more of an intense eyeliner. And you can take it in like this as well. And see how that just added a little bit more definition around my eye. So if this is the look you're going for, really simple. You can just um, intensify it a little bit by adding just a little bit more definition with eyeliner. And it kind of makes the eyeshadow, I mean the eyelashes look thicker as well when you do that. So super easy. You don't have to do anything crazy about wings or anything. Just like that. So easy. I've already got my mascara on, but mascara or lashes or whatever it is you like to do, and you are done. I hope that was helpful. Um, you can do this with any four shades. You just need a variation of tones. You need like a really fair color that you can use for inner corners and your brow bone, um, a pop of color, like a shimmer or something. You don't, it doesn't have to be shimmer. It can be a matte, um, but a lighter color and then a transition color, which is like a medium shade and a darker color for your outer corner. And so you just repeat that step with any colors that you like and you can end up with a really beautiful look. And I hope you guys are having fun. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out and let me know.